Okay guys, here's one of my winter projects. I've got three little uh, busboy DWC setups. No air stones, except for one cheater here. Uh, I'm just pumping air directly into it, into each system, with a quad air pump. I've got a heat mat underneath because it's, it's in the garage and it's very cold. And uh, I've got a T5 up here. Everything's going great. I got some tomatoes in here, which I'm going to take out and put into the echo garden. And I got some genera plants here, which is a great medicinal herb. And what we have, okay, here's what we got. I've got a, a, a thermostat to control the heat mat. It's one of the commercial uh, four foot longers. There's the, there's the air pump, but I've got it set at right around 72, and I'm trying to keep the nutrient solution, you know, less than 80, and I'm using grow nutrients. These little systems work great. I discovered that you really don't need air stones. I just pump the air. You know, I made a little fitting here with a couple of different size hoses, and you just put that fitting in there, and it bubbles in air, and you can also use this as a sight tube. Put it back in, pumps air back in. So here we got a plant that's doing extremely well. Lots of nice roots. Now what I've done with these setups, because the tank is, is kind of long, I've taken the air tube and I've extended, extended it to the middle. So you can see it's pumping air right in the middle and it's getting quite a bit of distribution and all these roots are very healthy. And these plants are growing like wildfire so I'm pretty sure it works. Now these things are really easy to build. It's just a, a standard busboy tray, actually one of the shallower ones, and a, a, a tray lid in which I've made holes to fit these net pots. Now this is a two, two ringer. This is a six pot holder, and I've extended the tube a little bit, but that doesn't really matter. And I use a elbow for these, and a T for this one because I put a drain hose, but that really isn't important either. You can actually use this for a drain hose as well. Okay, this is a uh, 12 potter here, these little three inch pots. These are great pots, by the way, these net pots. Actually, these are uh, cuttings that I uh, cloned in the OxyClone. So we'll see how this works. Okay, we have uh, about yeah, 63 and a half degrees Fahrenheit. The heat mat controller is off now, so it must be up to temperature. Let's check and see what we have in the nutrient solution, what the temperature is. Put this thermometer in, and we'll wait a couple of seconds. 70, looks like it's about 73, which is good for a temperature of the nutrient solution. And these plants are gorgeous, so I think everything is all is well, so to speak. By the way, these genera plants are amazing plants. They're a uh, Asian medicinal herb, commonly referred to as longevity spinach. Um, they're they're reputed to help control blood sugar, so they're good for diabetics, supposedly. For me. About six months ago I weighed 220 pounds. I started eating these things and I think it helped control my, or at least change my metabolism because now I'm 170 and I'm staying. I've been there for a couple of weeks now and pretty steady. So I haven't given up all my hamburgers, but I've cut down on eating a little healthier. And here's a few tomatoes that are ripening up for my Seattle Garden, they, most of them are green at the end of the season, but things are going well and 
I'll get this thing on YouTube so you guys can take a look at it. These are easy to build. I think you'll be surprised to build a few and watch them grow.